exactly. So here's the radar picture. Uh, notice plenty of moderate snowfall bands in there yet from Sheboygan through West Bend down just outside of Oconomowoc. That'll be sliding through town in the next couple of minutes here. Then a secondary one from Fond du Lac through Beaver Dam basically paralleling Highway 151 right now. So these again will reduce visibilities. Snow will continue to accumulate on the roads if they are cleared off. I mean, obviously a lot of trucks out keeping roads clear as best as they can, but it's just it's hard to keep up with this much snow as it's been snowing really for almost 24 hours by the time this thing all wraps up. You can see the back edge of that sliding through the Dells right now. The back edge of the heaviest snow moving through Fond du Lac again through Madison that will continue to push off to the southeast. So we have a few more hours of snow here yet. We'll continue to tack on some accumulations to what's already out there. Visibilities are down with some of that snow. Easy to tell where those heavy bands are. West Bend down to a two and a half miles in Sheboygan, uh, 1.7. Two and a half also in Fond du Lac. The rest of us, some reduced vis visibilities, not awful, but they'll continue to go downhill as we go throughout the afternoon because the winds pick up and that will lead to blowing snow. Now temperatures, most of us down into the teens, a few of us still hanging on to the 20s. Uh, our official high temperatures today, they've happened. They were into the 20s this morning. As the snow exits, it will be replaced by the cold air and also the windy conditions. So wind chill, a huge factor again as we spend most of the afternoon into the teens. Now future forecast showing all the snow that's still out there right now, Again, it's still snowing. It will continue to snow over the next couple of hours. By 7 o'clock, we still have the snow out there, and then it quickly moves out. We'll still have a few lingering flurries probably that will last until about noon, but the bulk of the accumulating snow probably out of here by about 10 o'clock. We also might get clipped with a little lake effect as we go throughout the late morning hours as well. For the most part, though, northwest winds will keep that lake effect to a minimum. We just have to watch how far this little band wobbles back and forth. Could add a little bit more to our lakefront areas. And then we quickly clear out the skies, but check out these winds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour, not only leading to blowing snow, but also leading to very cold wind chills if you're heading out for any of the Super Bowl plans tonight. As we fast forward through the evening time frame, notice we have clear skies, very cold conditions as you head home from the Super Bowl and then uh, or the Super Bowl plans, obviously. And then by tomorrow morning, the good news, we have clear skies, but a cold start to your Monday morning. Now future snowfall again, this is on top of what has already fallen. This model, I think just a little overplayed. I think most of us will fall close to an inch, maybe a few of us getting close to two more, but I think uh, overplaying these two inch numbers just a little bit, but again, probably adding an inch, two inch and a half on top of what's already fallen out there this morning. Winter weather advisory remains in effect for all of southeast Wisconsin. Another one to two inches, then the blowing snow for reduced visibilities heading into the afternoon hours. Today, again, High temperatures happen, 22 degrees, falling temperatures. Most of the afternoon will be into the teens and it will feel sub zero. Then, especially tonight, air temperatures down to zero. Wind chills 5 to 15 below with those west winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. So it's a return of winter. We have the teens on Monday and Tuesday. Some snow late in the day Monday could add about another inch. Heavier amounts with that one will be closer to the state line. A few flurries on Wednesday and Thursday and it looks like Friday. We could get another round of some uh, decent accumulations, oh, wow. obviously uh, a week out at this point, so we'll continue to watch that. Um, so uh, snow lovers, finally a little pattern change yeah. that they're appreciating. A lot of